So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Toy School Learnings and in this video we'll talk about constructors. Now if you remember in, in, in our earlier videos we have talked about class and object right, we have seen that in Brave. Now let me just go for a quick recap for that and then we can talk about constructors. So in, in Kotlin we can actually create uh, we can actually create a class the way we do in Java. So I can create a class called as alien here. Again I will start with a human class, we'll go to alien later. So let's say we have this human class here and then in this human class we have some functions. Now how do we define a function? We say function and we'll say let's say walk. So we walk, we have, we have a function which is walk and or maybe think. So every human thinks right of course we have a brain so we should use it right. So in, in your thinking so of course you can think anything you want so I will say print ln. So what I'm thinking now is uh, Okay, I will say Kotlin is awesome. So this is what I'm thinking in my mind now. Now, how do we create object of this class? So we have this human class, right? I want to call this thing. So the way you can do that is by saying where. Again, you can use where or you can use val. Uh, if you use where, that means you can change the, the you can change the object later. So we'll keep it where now, and we'll say this name as let's say Naveen. I'm in human. I mean you can, uh, I mean also an alien but then initially I'm a human right. So I will say, now if you remember in Java we use new keyword, in, in Kotlin we don't have to do that, we'll, we can simply say human and we can give a bracket, that's it, we got an object. The way you can call them is by saying navin.think and if I run this code, uh, you can see, I mean you can see in time bane, uh, okay. So can you see that we got the, we got the output as Kotlin is awesome. Now that's great right. Now question arise, uh, if, if you remember in, I mean, in C++ or Java, maybe in op every, every object oriented programming, there's one thing which is common and that one thing is called as a constructor, right? Now how do we use constructors here? Now first of all, what is constructor? So whenever you create an object, uh, object calls the constructor, I mean the object creation actually calls your constructor. So we don't have to call a constructor, right? Now one more thing, constructor has the same name in, in Java. If you remember in Java, we have constructors which have the same name as, as class name. But in Kotlin, we have some difference. We don't have to create another, another type or another method which, which has the same name as class name. So don't, don't think we will be writing something like this. I mean, of course, in your mind, there will be, there will be some thoughts, right? We have to create a constructor, something like this. Now this is not how we write constructors in Kotlin. Now what we can do is, how do we create a constructor here is, so, okay, so we, we, we got this constructor, right? Let's say I want to pass some parameters. And how do we pass a parameter here? So let's say I have a name, I have a name as, an, as a variable here. And the, the type of variable I'm creating here, oh, can you see that? I, I'm putting semicolon everywhere. That's a Java habit I have. Okay, so we got a string and then by default is blank. What I want is I want to assign this value name from here. So when I create this object human, I want to assign the name. I will say I want to assign a name which is Naveen, which is capital N in this case. How do I pass this value here? There's one way you can do that is by creating a constructor. Now how do we how do we create a constructor? We can say constructor and in this constructor you can actually specify a value. So we can say uh, we have a var which is taking a string argument. So we'll say var name equal to or uh, var name colon of type string, right? Okay, so we you can see we have a same name, so that will be an issue. So time bin, what I will do is I will use this as maybe n for that for that for time bin. So we can say var n equal, equal, is colon string, and then we can assign n here. So whatever value you have assigned here, that will go here, and then we'll print my name as well here. Of course, right? I deserve that thing. So I can say dollar name. So what I will what I will get is Kotlin is awesome, Naveen. And now if you run this code. I'm, that, I'm expecting that output now. Let's see if, it is, well, it's, if, if we are getting that output. So we can say we got Kotlin is awesome, Naveen, right? So what we are doing here is we are creating an object of human and then we are passing Naveen there. And what we are doing is we when you pass that Naveen, it goes to this string, this variable n, and then we are assigning that n to Naveen name and then we are printing it. So the way you can create a constructor in Kotlin is by using this keyword called as constructor and you can pass a variable. But then this doesn't look that attractive, right? Now, when you say Kotlin is a new language, it should have some attractive things. Why even we have to use this keyword constructor here? So Kotlin says, okay, if you don't want to use that keyword, that's fine. 
the only thing is if you are using some modifiers like if you mention uh, public if you are using public modifier here then that keyword becomes compulsory but then if you don't have any modifier if you want to keep it default you can remove that keyword there even if you don't mention the keyword that's fine this is your constructor let's verify let's run this code and you can see we're getting the output here which is kotlin is awesome naveen right so to get a constructor that constructor keyword is actually not necessary we can directly say uh, a bracket round bracket after the class name and this is your constructor now is is it the only way can i create the constructor inside the class as well and the answer is yes so the constructor which we have created now is called as a primary constructor so whatever we have created now is called as primary constructor we can also create secondary constructor but how that we'll see in the next video but then let's say if i don't want to pass this value i want i don't want to pass a value do we have any solution for that uh, now if you remember in uh, when we when we talked about uh, methods or functions before we can actually assign the default values right so let's say if i don't pass any value i want to say the value is a p right so we can do that you can you can say if, even if you don't pass the value that's fine if you don't pass the value the default value will, will be p let's try this out if you run this code uh you can see we got the output as kotlin is awesome so if you are passing if you don't want to pass a value you have to make sure that you give a default values right so default values also or default parameters also works here but then if you don't specify default then you have to pass something i will pass navin here but then is it the only way of creating a constructor no right we already have we have already seen that we have primary constructors and we have secondary constructors but how to use that that we'll see in the next video so that's it thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for for the videos